Yo, welcome back to the channel everyone. Now you guys can tell from the title of this video, finally, after five months of waiting, we got the last component for the Mustang build, man. It's been a long time coming. I'm super excited. I actually went ahead and found this part myself locally, so this is something that's gonna be happening very, very soon. I'm excited, hope you guys are excited as well. So for the good news, Drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and are enjoying the content. And also turn on those post notifications so you guys are notified immediately when I upload a new video. Specifically videos going over this build. We got a massive two valve build going underway and it's now about to start getting really interesting. Now, I actually have some other good news. We actually have a video sponsor for this video. Now, Simply Carbon Fiber reached out. They actually are supporting the channel, supporting the build, which is pretty cool because you don't normally see a company supporting 4.6 liter two valves or new edge Mustang builds in general anymore. It's something that's kind of going extinct. So you know we gotta go ahead and support a company that recognizes what we're doing on this channel. They sent out a carbon fiber wallet, which is really, really nice. It has a money clip on the back that can support quite a few bills. I have five bills back here. You guys can see I have a bunch of cards in here as well. It fits nicely, it's sleek, it's lightweight, it's durable. I've actually dropped this a couple times and it looks perfectly fine i know durability and quality is huge huge in the car scene and this wallet definitely fits the bill man you can use my code ep10 link in the top of the description below man it supports me supports the channel and we can get some more parts going on this build to you know tear it up at the track man so thank you simply carbon fiber for sponsoring this video let's get right back into it All right, so I actually was gonna make this video a different way, but honestly, it is way too hot to just be sitting up here on this mall parking garage and just talking. So I think I'm just gonna just do a POV drive instead, just so, you know, I can stay cool. <laughs> but, as you guys can tell from the title of the video, we finally got a missing engine component that I've needed for about like five months or so. Now, as you guys know, or if you guys are not aware, I actually started this Mustang build in January. January 8th is when I actually placed a big order for pretty much all the components for my short block, as well as all the hardware to lock everything down. And it's been five months of waiting to get a crankshaft. Now, originally we were gonna go with a Cobra crankshaft, but it is just damn near impossible to get your hands on a Cobra crankshaft right now. This is honestly, hands down, the absolute worst time to build a car. Like, I could not have picked a worse time to build a car because if this was done like a year or two ago, I 100% could have had this motor already in the car. This car would have been making, you know, well into like maybe the seven, 800 horsepower range. But you know, it is what it is, you know, things happen and you just gotta be patient. Now, because of the way, you know, things are right now and the part shortages, we were also looking for a Kellogg crank, which I feel that you can kind of get those more readily available than a Cobra crank. But luckily, I actually was able to find a seller locally that had a brand new in-box unused Kellogg crank for the 4.6 liter engine and that's actually going to be getting picked up tomorrow hopefully you guys can hear me I'm actually going to roll my windows up very slightly so you guys can hear me that's actually going to get picked up tomorrow so I'm super excited on that that's like literally one of the last things I needed to complete this short block and then it's pretty much game time you know just assembly whatnot and getting everything dropped back in. Now, the funny thing is, a month and a half ago, honestly, it might've been two months ago, I think that's the last time I updated you guys on you know, the whole engine progress and where things were at, and how I was kind of uh, not really upset because obviously things like this, you can't really get upset about, you know? It'd be different if this stuff wasn't purchased and I was like on a waiting list, you know, without purchasing it. So in the fact that I had all this stuff purchased and you know, pretty much just waiting on 
arrival it really wasn't that big of a deal but i think about two months ago i hit you guys up and i said that i was waiting on a crankshaft um it should be coming in any minute now <laughs> like two days ago it was pushed back into august so obviously that would have been that would have been a problem because i wanted to have this short block in the car um you know sometime during the summer so i can get used to the power level at around like 650 wheel horsepower and then go ahead and progressively turn it up so waiting till august for just the crankshaft to get here that's what kellogg said that would have been a huge issue and that would have been something that would have sucked so i got super lucky that i found a guy locally that was selling the exact crankshaft that i need that's going to be getting picked up tomorrow um, depending on when you're watching this video it already could be picked up and the short block is gonna be you know at the machine shop being put together as we speak so man I love the down shifts man too bad I actually might be having to change this blow off valve setup with the new uh with the new blower I'm not gonna go too in detail on that but this blow off valve sound might be going away but it still should sound pretty badass Drivability is the same too with the cams. I honestly think this car might actually suffer drivability wise, <laughs> but we'll see. I mean, race car things, gotta do what you gotta do. Whew. That's the thing about this car, man. You could just cruise it, you don't have, you don't have to even go fast. And it's super enjoyable. excited that we finally found the missing component now something that a lot of you guys might not be aware on is uh, this motor is completely overkill now I know a lot of people just go ahead and reuse the stock crankshaft which you definitely can reuse the stock crankshaft I'd say you can reuse it um, if you're not trying to push the car over I believe 700 horsepower is where people say the stock crankshaft is at its like breaking point so if you're trying to build you know a 4.6 liter 2 valve up to like 600 wheel horsepower you're not gonna have this issue that i'm having you can just reuse the stock crankshaft that you have in the car or just find another one which you know they're pretty common and you can have this build you know pretty much done i'd say within a reasonable amount of time I mean, you can literally go to ford get some boss 302 rods get some dss pistons for 10.5 comp reuse your crankshaft arp hardware and you're really good to go and you're only going to spend like 1500 two thousand dollars max at all the parts which is pretty damn good for a 4.6 liter two valve that can hold you know up to 700 horsepower i mean that's pretty much what a gen 1 coyote is rated for but we all know those cars can get pushed a little bit further than that but having a car that you can buy build boost and still be cheaper than a gen 1 coyote i mean that's really not that that's not bad at all i mean i can't even say that's really not that bad that isn't bad at all but this motor that i'm setting up right now it's way overkill it's good for about 1500 horsepower um realistically it's gonna have you know the cobra crankshaft it's gonna have dart and sleeves it's gonna have custom pistons for the sleeves it has rods some manly rods that are very very strong that are good to 1500 horsepower so this car is completely overkill will this car ever see 1500 horsepower most likely not because that's way too much for the street this is pretty much going to be a street car that i'm building up that can have fun you know on the highway taking it to mexico because i have no i have no shame you know admitting that you know i'm kind of building this car to be you know a roll car slash occasional track car because i mean i want to build a street car man i live in texas you know a lot of people like to go roll race a lot of people like to go to the track so i kind of want to have a setup that i can do literally whatever i want with it and not have to worry about it and obviously i'm going to be you know on the highway a lot more than the track so i kind of want to have the car you know purposely set up for what i'm going to be seeing you know a majority of the time so i want to have something that i could literally beat on consistently and not have to worry about it and that's kind of why i went overkill with this whole build i could have had this build most likely done by now if i was only trying to push like 700 horsepower which you know is a pretty respectable amount of power but 
I wanted to have that capability of turning this car up even more if, you know, I needed to. Like if I start losing races, you know, I can just go to the tuner, hey, turn my shit up. Instead of having to be like, oh man, I gotta go ahead and dig into the motor again. I don't I don't wanna do that. So just turning up turning up the boost is like, you know, the easy thing to do and the motor can take it. So that's kinda why I wanted to go ahead and, and, and do this. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Just wanted to update you guys on the process of this whole build because I know some of you guys are very interested in seeing how long it takes something like this to be done. Should be good to go in about a couple months or so depending on how quickly the machine shop does go ahead and assemble this motor. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, turn those post notifications. Catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.